All right, friends, let's talk about the master bedroom. I'm not sure how big this room is. I think it's an okay size room for a mobile home master bedroom. But the furniture has been like this since we moved in, which is almost a year and a half ago. All right, so let me share with you the layout. So we have the doorway, which is where I came in at. On this one, we have a wide dresser. And please ignore the mess. On that one, we have a tall dresser with a TV on it. The window open, which I do love that. A nightstand, bed, nightstand, the girl steps, because as you can see, it is their bed. It is a, um, a king size bed. It has two twin XL mattresses that both recline up and down. So the base of the bed is actually kind of heavy. So the only other option I have to rearrange this room without blocking the window is to put the bed over there. And again, please ignore the mess. If I put the bed there, I can only fit one nightstand because we did measure that before. Um, that wall's not big enough. Um, so I can just always bring that little table in and you see, I can shove it in the corner to see if it fits there. So if I put the bed there, right, it would give me all this open space. Like I would have that wall, this whole wall, and that wall there. On this side, we have the two dressers. This is very cluttery. This dresser is not even centered in the wall, which does bother me. I can't make it be centered because I cannot fit that dresser there. Um, so if I do put the bed over here, I would have all that wall. Like I can put the wide dresser there, the other dresser there in the corner, even have like maybe a spot for a vanity so I can sit down and do my hair and makeup. That would be nice, right? All right. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to try it. Um, I'm going to need to bribe the girls with treats to get them off the bed. I'm not looking forward to it because that is heavy and I'm not going to clean anything. Like okay? I'm not going to clean a single thing. That's kind of how I do things. If I think about rearranging a room, I'm not going to clean it until I rearrange it. Then I would clean it. All right. So wish me luck. All right, friends, this is where we are. That bed kicked my butt. It is so awkwardly heavy. At least the mattress is in it anyway. All right, so the first thing I did was move the dresser and this dresser just kind of out of my way. And I was able to vacuum over there and do the baseboards. Took the bed apart with the headboard over there. And the headboard is just awkward because it's top heavy, you know. Put that over there. I had to take the mattresses off and then flip the base around. So this was the bottom of the bed, that little doohickey thing there. Um, that's where the bed is. You know the saying, measure twice, cut once? I should have measured twice because if I have the bed centered on that wall, neither one of the nightstands are going to fit. As it is right now, you can see it's off-centered. I did bring my ruler in to measure. I can fit a nightstand over there in that corner. I really can't fit a table over here. Um, even the, even that little skinny table is not going to fit here. So I don't know if that's going to bother me or not, having the bed not be centered. I, mean, I could probably put some kind of decor up there to kind of offset it maybe. All right, let me show you the other side of the room. All right, so we have that here. So my plans, I think, I would like to take this dresser, the Y dresser, and put it right there centered in that wall because I have a plug there. That dresser, I would like to center in that wall. And then maybe the other nightstand I can put over there with like a vase or something on it. Um, or it could be like a little vanity table over there. And the thing is, the TV goes on that dresser there. Um, I don't want to put on this one because we have the mirror on it. So that means that dresser has to go in the corner, has to go catty cornered. I'm just not sure where. I mean, this is definitely more wall space than I had over here before. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this dresser over there centered, catty corner that one probably in that corner over there. Uh, it, I think it'll just be a better angle for TV. I'm not going to put the bed together or um, I'm not going to reassemble the bed until I move things around and see how I like it. So I'll check back in with you in a few more minutes. All right, friends, this is where we are. I had to move that dresser over to the left a little bit to get that dresser in the corner. Hubby knows if I put something in the corner, I want it to be a perfect triangle in the back. So I do like those two there. Um, so this dresser with the mirror is not centered, but I don't really think you can tell because the ceiling fan is kind of centered with the mirror. Um, then I just have that nightstand there, so it was out of my way. Let me show you the other nightstand over here. Um, to be honest, it is kind of tight but it's not horribly tight. It's just a nightstand. I think once I put a lamp on it, it'll be good. I just think when I make the bed and I have the blankets come over, it's gonna look funny there. I could possibly move the bed over maybe two inches maybe, just so that's not so tight over there. Also, the headboard can, can go back about five or so inches as well. Um, 
So in that corner, that would be all open. I can bring in the faux tree that used to be in our family room. I can put that over there in that corner. Or I can bring the chair in. We have there's a chair in the shed. I can also put that in that corner. So I have a few options for that corner. Um, that nightstand, unfortunately, would not fit in here. Um, I wonder what we look like over there. I mean, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to drag this nightstand over. Um, Drag it over there so I can see if it'll look funny against this wall. I think it will because it's just by itself. But if I do bring this over here, I can still have room for that faux tree in the corner. Let me see what that looks like. All right. All right, so the faux tree can go there. Okay, it's not bad. All right, does it look funny? Does it look funny? Um, I could put a vase on it. Oh no, I'll have the tree there and that'll it'll have a greenery there. I don't know if I like it there or not. I don't want to put it in the shed because of the humid of the humidity. So if I leave it in the house, it has to go in a closet and there's really no room. Probably in our master closet, I can maybe squeeze it in there. Um Alright, so I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna clean, put the bed together. If hubby doesn't like it, then he'll help me put it back the way it was but what do you guys think all right i'm gonna hit pause clean this room up really well um make the bed and i'll come back and show you the finished look all right friends we are back with the finished room i did uh dust everything off clean the tv the mirror did the window and blinds i did not do the ceiling fan i also put the bed back together changed the bedding and made the bed so i need your honest honest opinions below on what you think of the master bedroom rearrange so in this corner, we have the tall dresser with the TV on top. I do like that there. I also brought this little table in just to have kind of something there. Then we have the dresser here. Just our normal stuff is on top of that. I did go to the shed and brought that faux tree in. I do like that there. I think it needed something in that corner. I did put the end the nightstand in the corner, kind of catty cornered. I did not like it because it seemed like it was tall, medium, short. So I just put that there. And then on this side, I did move the bed over about an inch just to give me more room with the nightstand. So when I clean, I'm able to do the sides of it without um, having it too much difficulty. So, and on that is just a lamp. And the headboard, I'm not sure if it bothers me being not centered. I think if I just add like maybe like a piece of wood up there with a vinyl saying or something and just to kind of offset that and then hang something over there on that, on that side, it might look a little better. The thing I'm stumped on the most is the nightstand. Um, we do use both drawers. Like on Hubby's side, he has his jammies and his yard shirts. On my side, I have my socks, the girls' uh, treats, and different things in my top drawer. I'd rather have a nightstand in the room versus putting it in a closet because then I would need to find drawer space for what's in the nightstand now. I'm just not sure what to put on it. I did bring a flower arrangement in. I didn't like it there. It clashed with the tree. I could put take the lamp off that and put it over there but then both lightings or both lamps would be on that side of the room I don't know if that would look funny or not or it doesn't need anything at all like maybe the tree kind of is a decoration there I'm not sure I don't know how hubby's gonna feel about the rearrange I don't think he'll mind it too much um the only thing that's gonna bother him is no nightstand on that side of the bed which I I, I completely get because we go to bed we have our drinks we have remotes for the tv remotes for the bed so we definitely need something over there I was gonna bring in that table out there. It does not fit here. So I brought this little table in. I thought it could be here. Then when I come to bed, I just bring it over on that side of the bed and I can put my drink there, the remote or whatever, you know, so it's not gonna be there all the time, just when you go to bed, right? That doesn't look horrible. I mean, nobody's gonna see it because we'll be using it when we go to sleep. And then, you know, in the morning when I make the bed and whatnot, just put this back over there. So what do you think about that idea? I, I need to clean the walls. That mark there is from the headboard. I don't know why, but um, I need to clean the walls. But anyway, there's the master bedroom rearranged. The girls seem to enjoy it, as you can see. Um, let me know what you think. What would you do with the nightstand? Do you think it needs something on top? I'm really not sure if it needs something on top or not. Like I said, the tree kind of does the decorating for that area. I'm just not sure. All right, so anyway, there's the master bedroom rearranged. I'm gonna clean the ceiling fan um, and then vacuum again because I'll make a mess. That way this room is completely done. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.